Okay, a couple of things have happened since I last uh, talked to you guys. As you can see, our ships have strayed in uh, this ring around the inner system. And they are continually, as was previously announced by me, surveying each of these bodies. We found a couple uh, that have transnetonian minerals on them, namely these. You can see the circles around them. Uh, Adelheid, for example, has a slight amount of marcasium. Jueva has corundium and gallicid. Vanadis have marcasium and corundium. And that's pretty much all. Oh, Atalanta has a small amount of neutronium, sorium, uridium. These are asteroids. And uh, we will ignore them for now. However, uh, there are two comets that are coming to uh, the inner solar system at this point. Uh, Rainmut and Borele. Actually, no, Borele has been already surveyed. No, it wasn't. Rainwood, Borrow and Wolf. These three are coming to the inner system. So I'm gonna send uh, the um, Geo Survey task group number two to come to the inner system and actually tell us what's on these comets. So where are they? We will first go with the Borley as that one is leaving and I don't want to chase it half around the system. We don't have such a good engines yet. Then we'll go with, with Rainmont as that one will be departing. And then we'll go with the last one which is Wolf. Okay, now the ship will move uh, there. We also are slowly converting our uh, conventional industries to mines. Only 16 are left and as you can see the annual production is steadily rising. We are now at almost uh, 1400 tons of uranium every single year. Stockpile went up to 3.6 thousand and neutronium is at 945. Which means that once we finish these mines, I'm gonna dedicate only 10 to 15 percent to mines and we will start the production of the commercial shipyard complex. The reason behind this decision is that the commercial shipyard complex starts at 10,000 tons instead of a thousand tons as the naval one does. And will immediately allow us to build some big cargo ships, which we will need to colonize and transport mines around the solar system. Now, uh, this is really important because we cannot expand at the current size of um, the shipyards. Uh, it will take a significant time before uh, uh, wait what am I talking about did we I'm a bit confused I wanted to yeah the pressurized water reactor is the one that we need for nuclear engines definitely but that one will be finished at 3rd of March 2061, which is quite a lot of time. However, after we finish the active graph sensor strength 10, I'm not going to dedicate uh, that research lab to the water reactor. I'm going to start, uh, start uh, researching the jump, jump point theory. Once we convert 
uh, the mine, the, the industry to construction. We will divide uh, the outstanding production to uh, other converting to refinery uh, conversion and to research laboratories construction. The research labs are a long-term project. As you can see, they cost an insane amount of resources and their cost is 2,400 build units per uh, single laboratory. We currently have only uh, 1,200 uh, points worth of construction per year, which means that uh, it will take two years if we dedicate all of our construction to labs. So at this point, it's really not gonna fly. However, we are getting better. I kind of underestimated the time it takes to construct um, uh, the construction factories. Uh, last time I dedicated everything I had to them, I got into huge trouble with uh, the mining production, but it was quite faster. So maybe when we convert the mines, I might switch everything to construction first. That would make things quite faster. I'll think about that one. Huh. Might be a good idea, might be a bad idea. We'll see. We also have to figure out what we're gonna do with the uh, inner solar system uh, sources of resources. Basically what we're gonna do with Mercury and Venus. Or was it Mercury and Mars? No, it was Mars for the uranium. Mercury for neutronium. And Venus was worthless. So Mercury and Mars. Mercury and Mars. We can either try to set up colony on Mercury and Mars. Or Mars. Or at one of these. Or we will create automated uh, mining colonies there. It's a bit more expensive but it will allow us to actually keep our people on earth and we won't have to ship around infrastructure parts which are needed for the colonies. We won't have to create those. Instead we will just plant mines in there and start hauling resources to earth automatically. It's kind of a question what we're going to undertake or if we're just going to focus on Earth first. Borewa will soon be surveyed and Rheinmund is next. Okay, Borewa has been surveyed. Let's see what it got. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, Borave has some neutronium, some carbamide, boronate, large deposit of vendorin, really large deposit of sorium, small deposit of corundium, and galisate. So, boronate might be a good one to mine, though it has no duranium. No duranium at all. Is there something else that might interest us? We have a new civilian administrator, that's okay. And a crew morale on Bosporan and Kingdom has fallen to 99.52. Oh! Yeah, I see. Where is it? Yeah, you can see that it has been in space for 25.45 months now, and it's only uh, on. It has morale of only 94% while fuel is still very high. But the thing is, we owe it to the people to actually go home. Where is it? Okay, it's not that far from Earth, so we're gonna let it survey Austria, uh, the asteroid Austria, and then we are going to send it to Earth to rest. I'm gonna cancel it it's a special order so that it is not going to survey any more bodies and after it finishes Austria it will move to Earth 
Yeah, I should have surveyed Wolf first. That was a bad idea. Actually, you know what? We're gonna... We are going to give... Bosporn Kingdom one more task. And that's gonna be to survey Wolf. Where is it? Here. Move to... Geological survey and then move to Earth. That way, the Geo Survey Task Group 2 will be able to focus on other, task, other tasks first. And I think that after the um, Bosporan Kingdom comes to Earth, we should refit it to uh, the more advanced class the Vivian refit class and we can then send it either to Jupiter or to Saturn to see if there are any interesting resources there so let's do this we're gonna have a five-day increment as always the ships are moving ships are moving Rhinemoth has Tritanium, Boronid, Vendorid, and Corundium. And Wolf has Corbomite, Tritanium, Boronid, Mercassium, Sorium, and Galicid. These are interesting numbers. And as you see, the task group number one is moving to Earth. Back home after long 26 months, or how long was it? 28 months. They've been away from Earth for over two and a half years. Well, no, two and a quarter of a year. So let's let them rest. Okay, now the game has paused because Geosurvey Task Group 1 has completed orders. That's how it should be. It has arrived back to Earth and will actually be refitted. You do that here. Refit from Lillian to Lillian A1 refit, the ship name Bosporan Kingdom. It will cost only 20 uranium and it should be actually quite fast. 16th of May 2059. Actually, no, that's not fast. It's going to take months to finish. But it will allow me to show you another feature that I was talking about, which is the crew rest. Oh, and we have finished the mines construction. Now we have 50% unused. Okay, we have annual production of almost 1400. So I'm gonna go with 80% of our construction capacity will be working on increasing our construction capacity while... How many mines do we have? 100. It's quite a lot. But we can use some more. So we'll construct 20 mines and we'll dedicate 20% of our construction capacity to that task. As I said before, the more construction factories you have, the better you and faster you uh, work. Minerals discovered on the Lula. 6,000 tons of uranium, some boronate, some mercassium, and a slight amount of sodium. Oh, and we have surveyed Komasoa. The uranium, neutronium, carbamite, sodium, uridium, and corundium. Sure, this one is really good. It has both the uranium and neutronium, which we need with high accessibilities. Interesting. And the crew of the Bosporan Kingdom is still not rested. Yeah, the A1 class was already refitted, but the crew is still not rested. 
I'm taking a long time, yeah, but they were long, long time overdue. And we have a new officer. Ah, here it is. You can see that the... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so that one does not stop. <laughs> the time progression. The crew of Bosporan Kingdom has completed the shore leave and is fully rested. This is our queue that we can send the Geosurvey Task Group number one to its dedicated task, which is to survey Jupiter and all of its moons. You can see that there's a lot of them. So we're going to do that by sending it to Jupiter, asking it to perform a geological survey there, and we will give it primary default order to survey nearest body. So once it finishes with Jupiter, it will go for Io, then Europa, then Ganymede, and Callisto, and from there it will move on. Huh. What's our most likely target now? This is the geo survey reports. Here you can see all of the minerals that uh, have the rhenium, if we go go like this, this is all that have neutronium. These are all carbamide, titanium. This is very useful when you're trying to uh, decide where you're gonna move next, because we will need neutronium as well, and we might need corundium as well. If you set it like this and quick search, it will show us that we have only two uh, possible locations for this. One is Earth. And one is Komasola. So Komasola is actually going to be our first mining place. That will give us some more time to decide on what colonies we will set and where. Where is Komasola? Is heading towards the system core. That's not really good news because we won't make it in time. Now our construction capacity has raised to 1470. That's good. And our production, mining production is still rising. We will soon though run out of boronide on earth in about two years. So, but we have a large deposit of it, and we are not needing it for anything at this point. No automated mines don't need it. So we will probably see Komasova come and go, and when it comes next time, we will be ready for it. I'll have to uh, design. Yeah, we'll design a cargo ship, but for that, I don't want to design it before we actually have the pressurized water reactor and the new type of engines because the new type of engines will make this really possible for a ship of a size i'm going to show you actually we can start designing it right now a new class no that's a terrible name okay portland class cargo ship 195 tons worth of space. If we wanted to transport at least one mine or other installation, we will give it one huge cargo hold or a standard cargo hold. That means that the size of one up to 26,000 tons. You can give it just 5,000 ton cargo hold that works as well, but the ship will actually have to deconstruct the uh, installation into five parts and do five runs if you give it two then it will do three runs and so on but i would like to start with one standard cargo hold that's not that bad because uh, we will have time to upgrade the conventional shipyard now witness this if we give it one has for commercial engine it will go at three kilometers per second if we give it two it will go at eight if we give it 
a free it will go at 13 so that to get it to some reasonable size or speed we would need to give it at least 22 engines which is horrible and the ship would go up to 54,000 tons so until we get uh, the tier 2 engines which is the nuclear engine we are stuck with no cargo capacity right now so all these things the surveys and stuff they're just a step forward where we mark our territory and find out what's going on we now know that we will start with Kumasoa with an automated colony there and we then have to decide what we'll do with Mercury and what we'll do with uh, what was the other one? Mars? Venus was the one that was worthless, yeah. And on this note I'm gonna end for today with the following message. I've already done this before and I'm gonna give some power to you, my subscribers, over this Let's Play. If you wish for me to do a certain task, whatever the task is, write it as a roleplay message, paste it on the video, and if this comment you will post, it has to be a roleplay comment, okay? It doesn't have to be just colony on Mars. It has to be a message. Uh, if this gets at least five likes from other players, I will address your message in uh, the next video, and it's up to me how I address it. If you get ten likes from other people, I will have to consider it. If it gets 20, it's an order, and if it gets over 25, it's a priority one order from you guys. So, for example, if I now say we are going for Coma Sola, and you will say no, start a colony on Venus, you get five. I will have to discuss this in the next video and you know show you my reasoning again. If you get 10, I will have to consider it, do some math, and then decide. If you get 20, it's Venus for the next thing. And if you would get 25 or more, I have to colonize Venus as the next step. And all resources we have will be dedicated to that task. This will go for any video. I will probably not track all of them. Let's say the last five. Uh, but... If there's any other older comment that will get enough enough likes or anything, just send me a message to uh, tell me that there's something like that. If you won't play along, that's fine. I'm going to just play it on my own. But I think there are some of you who would like to participate on this as uh, this will make it more fun. So hopefully that will make your day. I'm heading to bed because it's half past one and I'm... I uh, have to get up to catch a train tomorrow. Till next part, you enjoy. I hope uh, everything was made clear. And we can finally get to some more playing now. So you guys take care and uh, all the best for me. Alpha Omega.